Alright, this is my nitric acid producing apparatus. You see here the boiling flask which I have insulated so it doesn't keep just cut dropping back into it. You see the acid that's being condensed here. It drops down into this uh, little vessel. Very nice. Yeah, inside of here I'm just using a nitrate salt, in this case sodium nitrate, and uh, this uh, heavy oily liquid, which is sulfuric acid, concentrated. There should be absolutely no water in here. You know, so this is uh, anhydrous nitric acid, which ought to be rocket fuel quality, hopefully. Okay, here's the acid that I produced. Very pretty, huh? It's very pure. <laughs> it's not much, but uh, this was just a test batch. I think I could make about a liter per day if I decided to go into it at a cost of about ten dollars per liter. But uh, this is just for testing. I'm going to do some tests with it real quick, see how it works with diesel and maybe put it on a fire, see what happens. But uh, yeah, I'll show you that in a second. Okay, here's the first test. I got some of the fuming red nitric acid in this uh, cap here. You can see it fuming. And I've got a piece of copper here. Now if this acid is concentrated and powerful, it should react with this copper for a second and then stop reacting because it'll create a pacifying uh, oxide coat. And it appears like that is true. Now, just to show you that it is in fact nitric acid, let's dilute it with a little bit of water and uh, show you it reacting with the copper. There you go. See the copper is now reacting? Yes, very nice. So I think it passes that test. The next test is to prove that I have a powerful oxidizing agent. To do that, I light this rag on fire, let it burn for a little while, stomp it out, okay? Now, if I have a powerful enough oxidizing agent, I should be able to add some of it to it and actually relight, relight the rag. Aha. Not bad. Let's blow it out again. Okay. There, it's out. Add the, add the acid. And it ignites again. Perfect. I do have a strong oxidizing agent. And finally, in these two little bottle caps, I have some off-road diesel fuel. It's very similar to kerosene. The specific gravity isn't quite as high, but ultimately it's very, very similar. You'll see that just like kerosene, it doesn't burn on its own. <coughs> At least it won't stay burning, I guess I should say. Let's go ahead and add some of uh, this uh, acid to it. Yeah, right here. Just add a couple of drops. You can see it turns black and it will begin to fizz as it uh, will react to it slightly. Let's go ahead and light it now. Alright. Very nice. That's it for the acid. Let's go ahead and put that out. Okay. This next cap, I was going to try adding the uh, adding the acid to it while it was burning. Now to get it to burn, you have to add a wick, just like just like a candle. Okay. So now I got it burning. Now let's add the acid to it while it's already burning. I'd say that looks like a rocket, don't it? Here, let's add the rest of it that I have here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's fun. Man, I can't wait to be shoving gallons of this stuff together. Okay, a little more. I love that sound it makes. Alright, I think I melted my pipette there. Oh well, they're cheap. Alright, let's go ahead and put this out. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that, and I uh, hope you stay tuned for my next experiments, hopefully including a rocket. So, see you next time.